Roma. She'll have found out what. I'm sure she will. Who will do poops? Who will do Roma? Now, Hoobs, just take a look at my lovely pumpkins. Oh, yes. They're very impressive, Roma. And it's not every pumpkin that's as large and juicy as these, I can tell you. No. Producing such succulent pumpkins takes a very clever farmer indeed. But what's that got to do with llamas, Roma? Well, as a matter of fact, rather a lot, Groove. The farmer down the road has some llamas, and he gave something rather marvellous to this farmer to put on his pumpkins. Really? What? Dung. Dung? Dung? Yes, I know it sounds horrid, Hoobs, but it seems that llama dung makes peep plants grow like bilio. In fact, peeps put all sorts of animal dung on their plants. It's called fertiliser. But isn't that rather... Whiffy, Roma. Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you, Ivor? But that's the beauty of Lamadon, you see. It doesn't smell at all. So, no stink. Oh, right. Now, obviously, dung is nasty stuff, and you mustn't get it on your paws no matter what you do. But the farmer here just chucked it on his plants with his big pitchfork. And as you can see, his pumpkins are all the juicier for it. Oh, Roma, thanks very much. That is so hooby groovy. No trouble at all, Groove. Now, I think the farmer's wife has made me some lunch. So this is Roma Hoob off to have a nibble on a big, tender pumpkin. Hoobble toodle do. Hoobble toodle do. Well, that's it. Dung is useful, and llama dung is the most useful dung of all dung, because it doesn't smell. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, I've read a big book all about dung. Really? Yes, really. It was herbaceously interesting, as a matter of fact. Hmm. Oh. And it said never to get near animal dung at all. It's dirty, so you can get all sorts of nasty bugs from it. <laughs> Don't touch dung. I remember that very clearly. We won't touch it. We'll use a pitchfork. A little bit of dung on our hoob nips and they'll be as big as Roma's pumpkins. <laughs>